Did you know investing into huges really early in the game can actually harm the amount of progress you can make? This is because really early in the game there are other better investments to, in order to increase the amount of damage you can do to the breakables and I can tell you right now, huges are not the answer to your problems. Make sure to watch this entire video to find out what the actual solution is so that you can progress way quicker here in Petsim 99. The most common misconception here in Pet Simulator is that you need huge pets or titanics to be able to do a ton of damage to these breakables. But the reality is, these huges, these exclusive titanics, they aren't actually your main damage source because they are only a substitute or they are just better in the really really end game. If you guys were to take a look at these huges, I don't have an exclusive right now but if you take a look at it, it's also basically just question marks. And that's because their damage is solely based on your highest base damage pet. So if you're wondering what these base damage pets are, these are basically the ones you can get from your normal eggs. So for me, the highest damage pet I have is this Frostbite Snowman. It's 272 million, which means every single huge exclusive or titanic will be scaling off this. So let's say if I don't have this and I only have the Frostbite Yeti, it means I'm losing out on like what, maybe 20% of my possible maximum damage. So, you can already see that these pets are way better than these huges and exclusives if you guys are not stacked out on these huge pets yet. Now, of course, I could get even more damage if I have the Rainbow Shiny M6 prototype, but it's extremely expensive and the brand new update is already about to come, so there's no point of doing that because we will be most likely having another extra 25 worlds. Moving on to the next topic for this video is should you be getting huges or pet equips? Well, if you guys have been paying attention to the start of the video, you would already realize that pet equips are way better than the huge pets. This is because huge pets and exclusive pets, again, scale off the base damage pet. And let's say you have an exclusive that's 95% bonus. You only get an extra 50% actually, believe it or not. That is because one pet is 100%. Putting an exclusive or a huge is another 100%, but since you guys are not getting an extra slot, it's basically just whatever bonus you get. And the exclusives and huges only give a 50% to 100% bonus. To put it into simpler terms, basically having a huge or exclusive gives you a bonus of 50-70%. to 70%, While buying a pet equip is basically giving you a 100% damage boost. And that is exactly because you get a whole new pet like this. You just get a whole new pet rather than just getting a damage based on your previous pet. Another question you may have is do you need a lot of base damage pets or how do they scale off? Basically, you only need one of these. You don't need a ton of Frostbite Snowmans, you only need one. Because all of the hugest and exclusives will scale off that one singular highest DPS pet. So you don't need to be stacking your entire load with Frostbite Snowmans. Of course you could, it gives a lot more extra damage because of the base, base pets. But it has no more effect on how much damage the hugest or the exclusive pets will be doing. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below to show your support. And I promise you, you wouldn't want to miss my next video.